Hi my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today and today I'm actually gonna attempt to do a makeup tutorial. I know you guys have been asking me many many times but um, the reason I have been procrastinating to do a makeup tutorial is because A. I don't think I'm that good at makeup, at doing makeup. I'm okay but then like I don't think I bring anything new to the table because B. There's so many wonderful makeup artists and makeup gurus on YouTube so I was kind of like why should I do a makeup tutorial because there's so many other amazing ones but because you guys have been asking me so nicely I was like okay I'm gonna do it but one of the other reasons I didn't want to do a makeup tutorial is because whenever I do my makeup I don't really know what I'm doing like I don't even think what I'm doing so I don't really know how to teach you guys because I'm like I'm kind of just doing something and then like I create something and then I don't always know how to recreate the same look I've created once but um, I guess I'll just have to learn how to pay more attention as I do my makeup and if you guys like the look then I'll try to recreate it in the same way but usually I have no idea what I'm doing I'm kind of just like going like like on, on sort of an autopilot you know which is kind of funny but this look um, that I'm gonna be doing today is um, kind of a very nice smoky everyday look for um, really great for hazel eyes or brown eyes but I think it will work great with blue eyes or green eyes as well um, I did this look for sexy bedtime hair tutorial and you guys absolutely loved it and I was so excited because this is a really easy simple look to follow and there's really not a lot of products that I will use for this makeup tutorial and I'm gonna try to make it as easy and simple as possible and I hope you guys enjoy it and do let me know what you think at the end of the tutorial and um, let's begin so let's start with the makeup so far what I've applied is just my foundation and usually I would use super expensive foundations but um, I ran out of mine and they don't they discontinued it I used to use um, La Roche, La Roche Posay. I don't remember exactly what color and last time I got it when I was in France but they don't sell it here in Canada anymore I mean they do but not the one I used to use so I was kind of desperate for a new foundation and Layla recommended me actually a drugstore foundation which is Revlon Photo Ready and it's a really good foundation actually I really like it I don't know if you guys can see <laughs> Um, so I'll put the product down below so it's Revlon photo ready makeup foundation and I use color what is the color oh so I use color 006 medium beige so so far that's all I've applied we're gonna do another video showing how to apply foundation because I think that deserves a separate video um, but that's all I have so far I'm not wearing any other makeup guys so First thing I usually do, and I mean different people do different things, but uh, first thing I would do is probably use this uh, MAC, it's um, Painterly, Painterly by MAC, and um, I don't know, again, this is a recommendation from Layla, <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to use this, but what I do with this product, it's kind of like a foundation type of thing, and I just put it over my lid, because um, I think what happens is that it's kind of like um, a good base before applying your um, eyeshadow so I'll put it all over my lid and it just right away opens up the eye and whenever you apply the eyeshadow it it applies the true color So once I've applied that, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, fill in my eyebrows. I think that's a really, really important thing to do when you do your makeup. And that's one of the first things I do. You can do it at the end, once you're done everything, but I usually do it in the beginning. I don't know, I'm weird like that. So I'll just take a brush, and this is just a regular, I don't know what kind of brush it is. I just, it's just a regular brush um, that I've been using to fill, fill in my eyebrows. And I'm using this, um, the special um, sort of eyeshadow for eyebrows which I use as an eyeshadow as well but also as a filler for eyebrows um, 
basically it has to be something matte um, this one doesn't is not I got this as at a salon it's a private label company so they don't sell um, anywhere like they don't they don't sell to consumers that's why I can't really tell you guys where to get this one but get the one in your color in the color of your eyebrows this one is just deep brown and what I'm gonna do is just um, slightly fill in my eyebrows See, it makes a difference right away. So you just do a little bit and it just kind of, you know, it kind of um, creates more definition in the eyebrows. And you do it very lightly. You don't want to like, you don't want to make it too obvious. awesome so once I filled in my eyebrows I'm gonna go ahead and use the same um, matte eyeshadow that I used for my eyebrows to kind of create that smoky effect I did um, in the bedtime sexy bedtime hair tutorial that you guys love so much so I'm just gonna go ahead and what I'm doing I'm just kind of dabbing it on my finger cuz um, I know a lot of you guys prefer to use brushes um, I do use brush when I blend but usually when I apply, I find that it's easier for me to just apply with my finger. And you kind of apply as much as you think you need it. I'm gonna keep applying to create a darker effect. and go ahead do the same exact thing on the other eye what I do next is just take a small angular brush and I'm not done with that but that's like that's my order so just take a small angular brush and dab a little bit there and go underneath and kind of just line the lower lash line a little bit and then I would take a small blending bl brush and just blend that a little bit and then do exact same thing on the other eye and then I just want to take the blending brush and I'm gonna apply a little bit of a naked palette um, color virgin so it's this really light color and what I'm gonna do with my blending brush is just go to the um, upper eyelid I guess and kind of blend that the dark brown color to the just blend that to the upper area of the eyelid I don't even know what I'm saying but I hope you guys can understand what I mean so you kinda like blend that out and I'm gonna add a little more of the brown eyeshadow I like it really dark and smoky. So the next step is to line the um, inside of my eye with a black eyeliner pencil, with a black pencil. And I'm gonna use, uh, this is a MAC A30 um, black pencil, crayon, eye coal. I don't know, I'm not good at this guys, but anyways, this is just a black pencil from a MAC and it's A30. So what I do, and I just take the pencil and I go inside of my eyes and I just line the lash line. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And I think that's what creates the most of that effect, the, the pop of the eye and then I go on top a little bit not all the way just like in that inner corner and if you smudged it a little you can fix it right away but um, add a little more and 
and this is kind of what you have and do exact same thing on the other side So this is kind of what you get in the end and I haven't applied any um, concealer yet because as I'm doing my eyes I keep touching that area so I just do it when I'm done applying uh, my mascara I do it in the end that's kind of like the last step before I apply bronzer and foundation so what I'm gonna do next is apply a mascara and I usually mix two today I'm gonna be using this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes and that will be my top coat and then I will use this Falsies from Maybelline which is also a really great mascara so I'm gonna use these two and the first first I will apply the um, Voluminous Lashes and my lashes are really really tiny I don't know if you guys have noticed but um, they got to mascaras because they do make a huge difference and I hardly ever wear false eyelashes because I find it's really hard to um, to apply them. And I always apply mascara to the bottom lashes as well. So once you've applied the first uh, coat of mascara, you can stop at that. But I like my lashes big and dramatic, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply another coat of this Maybelline Falsies um, Falsies Volume Express mascara. So I'll just go ahead and quickly apply another coat of this over the voluminous and that's going to really make my eyelashes big and dramatic. What I do when I'm done um, applying the mascara is kind of I take my finger and I kind of lightly brush through uh, my eyelashes and you'll see all the excess will come on the finger. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, so I just, I don't know, it's just something I do every time I apply my mascara I kind of go with my finger and I take all the excess and then this is kind of what you have so the next step will be to hide the dark circles which I do have <laughs> uh, with the concealer and I'm gonna be using gosh concealer I really like this one it's really awesome and this is just a it's called gosh touch up concealer and I use number two <laughs> and usually if you're in Canada you can find this at um, shoppers and I'm not really sure if they sell these um, in US because I know it's a British brand but I'm sure if they sell in Canada they probably sell it in the US as well so what I do is just dab a little bit right under the eyes and then with my finger with, with my this finger I'll just I'll just kind of um, slowly blend it in and do exact same thing on the other eye And if you need to add a little more, you know, go ahead and add a little more, which I do. Just a little bit here and there. And keep blending it in. So the last step, of course, is to apply bronzer and blush, for me at least. And what I'm going to do is use my Cover FX, um, I think these are called Kabuki brush, I'm not sure, or a bronzer brush. So I'm going to use a bronzer, bronzing powder from MAC. Um, the color is called Bronze and I usually just dab a little bit on the brush and go all over my face I kind of go everywhere with this and this is really great because it works for my olive skin tone and I kind of apply it everywhere creating that <clears throat> creating that even tan you want to put it on the forehead
and you want to put it on your jawline because you don't want it to be darker here and lighter here you kind of want to create that even look and then I want to put a little more and put it on my neck Right away, I have a nice natural looking tan. So the last step, actually not the last step, but um, we're almost there. What I'm gonna do is I have this these brushes that I, these are the only brushes I have. You guys know I need new brushes, so um, I'm gonna use this uh, Smashbox um, blush bronze. I mean blush brush, <laughs> and use Mac uh, Peachy Keen blush which I love this color. So you want to dab a little bit smile and put it exactly on your che on the apples of your cheeks so you kind of go in the circular motion and blend it all out and right away you can see you know it's nice and rosy here and nothing here so we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and blend it all out so we are pretty much done um, the only thing we have to do is apply a lip gloss and for this kind of look you want to go because the eyes are really dramatic and smoky you want to go with a lighter um, with a lighter lip gloss and I'm using Dior uh, Pearl 2 to 7 love this color it's almost done I need a new one so I'm just gonna lightly apply that um, I don't really use any eye pencils eyeliners or any I mean I don't <laughs> really use any lip liners so I'll just apply it lightly and we are pretty much done I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it easy to follow uh, thank you so much for tuning in and if you like this makeup tutorial let me know and I'll try to do more so rate this video down below here if you like it and tell me what you think and tell me if you think I should do more makeup tutorials I personally had a I had a good time it wasn't as hard as I thought so I might consider doing a few more uh, thank you so much for tuning in I love you guys I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye